What's going on? It's Angus here. Massive thanks for stopping by to click on this video and a big welcome back to the channel. Um, get excited, fam, for an online coaching success story. Great success. This one here features my boy, fellow Perth, West Australian, Roger Damon, who has been working with me for about a year. And i um, so excited in this video to be able to unpack a bit of his journey. Because before Roger started with me, he was basically a confused and lost gym bro. Um, who was skinny fat and had been basically on, the, on and off the dieting wagon for over 10 years. And um, yeah, basically on the wagon that is trialing a whole heap of different stuff, thinking that he's got all his shit together but not really actually getting anywhere yet, justifying you know, that because he was trying that it was all good and um, yeah, essentially not really getting anywhere. And they came across me and um, basically all of my awesome posts and stuff like that. And um, yeah, took on board basically coaching um, from the get-go um, and has been a team player ever since. We've been able to take him from about 66, 67 kgs and managed to get him photo shoot lean sitting now at about 52 kgs and moving into some reverse dieting strategies so we can get his body functioning better on more calories. So um, yeah, like it's been absolutely sick working with him so far. In this video, we're gonna be covering his journey, basically the key learnings and stuff in terms of how he's transformed as a person. He's gotten so strong, so fit, and um, basically doing all of his training from home as well um, in terms of the bulk of his journey. Um, so it's been an absolute pleasure coaching him. I'm so excited to basically unpack the ins and the outs and um, all the in-between to be able to help you in your own journey in terms of showing you what is possible when you align yourself with science rather than what is trending and when you've got a good coach who's working with you. So strap yourself in for some knowledge bombs, strap yourself in for some awesome insights and let's get stuck into the body transformation video that is Roger Dane. And here we are, this is the main man Roger. Thanks so much for jumping on to um, yeah, this chat with me bro, how you doing? Hi, good man, how you going? Oh man, fantastic. Um, and uh, bro, really, really exciting because um, in this chat, which is obviously a recorded video call on Zoom, um, you know, we get to unpack some of um, you know the, the journey, the book that is Roger's journey so far. Obviously, you've been on um, you know quite an extensive journey prior to working with me, and then we've got the alpha chapters with um, what we've gone through together. So I'm stoked to be able to unpack, um, you know, I guess your experience and um, you know just inspire those who are watching with um, you know, your journey, bro, with what you've achieved. Because, um, yeah, like a lot of people these days, bro, through and you're aware through just seeing it probably happen around you and just with your own backstory, like a lot of people get themselves stuck in a bit of a suck hole of, um, you know, not necessarily misery, but kind of just like feeling lost because they feel like they've got all bases covered, trying hard and stuff like that and not really getting anywhere. And um, obviously with you, bro, you've been able to fucking crush it through rather than like opting for just the shit everyone else is doing, just, you know, aligning yourself to science and obviously what I've taught you and then we've been able to transform you from the inside out. So, wow, I'm excited, bro. This is going to be good. I've got goosebumps um, with, uh, yeah, just how pumped I am to uh, unra unravel your story, bro. But what we'll do first, let's, um, let's look at kind of like, well, we've got the alpha chapters, but then we've got the before that. So why don't you paint the picture for like what things were like for you, bro, in terms of your journey prior, like share some of the stuff that you did, share some of the pain that you were in, Share just kind of like what old Roger used to look, be like, look like, feel like, that sort of thing for those that are watching this video, bro. No worries. So starting for the finish, so to speak, was um, I used to work fast food before I started with the journey. Still do, but um, I used to work at a pizza place. Oh. And I'm um, like, yeah, pretty good. Um, so every day we would be just pizza, pasta, all of that stuff. And then obviously learning from your parents or if you've done something like home media even that pasta carbs bad for you poison to make fat all of that stuff um so then i started seeing growing up that i used to have sex all the time and then started working there oh uh, probably just get so it's obviously eating quite not eating the calorie deficit just eating what you want which is very nice um stop picking up weight so then i reverted to um dropping meals so that I can retain that six pack. Um, and then for me, there was like, nah, this is a bad road to go. I can't just not eat anymore. You know what I mean? I have to, I have to keep my energy up because it started affecting me mentally and physically as well. So I stopped that, went back on the pasta and the pizza, and then carried on with that. And then, um, yeah, uh, just training didn't even work for me because I was like, go to the gym and just be lazy at the gym because I'm not, I, I know the proper energy. Um, meal plan throughout the day, nothing's working, nothing's going right. So then 
mentally again, oh, like crap, like you just you just do nothing, you work, it's a mental state goes down, you just become more of a pessimist than anything else and everything's a negative, you know, and that affects your personal life and your family life as well. So then um after seeing your that is before. So then after seeing your little thing on Facebook, I just picked and I made all chat and then um from joining you, if I continue to the journey or jump really Oh, no, Dave, yeah. we'll, um, yeah, we'll unpack the initial stages of like, you know, what um, young Alpha Roger, we'll call it, was, uh, was going through. Um, <laughs> but in terms of like, we'll call it uh, like past days or bro days, Roger, all right, in terms of like before you joined. So what we can see there is like, um, yeah, you clearly have a love for carbs, like everyone on earth does, you know what I mean? And then obviously you've got those people that are basically like, even though they know that they love carbs, they still try and do keto anyway, because hashtag keto is life. Whereas you and I both know that it's just like, well, why do that to yourself? You know what I mean? If you don't need to. So what you've shared there is like, um, you created a bit of a cycle for yourself in terms of like, you know, when you were on, you were on, but it was fucking like hard on, restrictive on, it wasn't enjoyable. And then, you know, when something happened or it became too hard to stick to, you know, hey, carbs were there with open arms especially pizza yeah. and <laughs> yeah. um, pasta, as you said. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that created obviously a bit of a, um, yeah, well, a bit of a loop of kind of just like that was how you handled um, whatever it was that caused those sort of little episodes. So you created a bit of a cycle, yeah. Um, so just in terms of like, uh, like for people prior to working with me, like some people have only been trying to kind of change their body and health maybe a few months and then you know they're just like fuck i'm not really having any wins here and then they you know get into coaching so in that case that's cool because you know they've not really wasted you know like that much time in the scheme of things and i've worked with some people where they've been going for fucking 10 years plus trying to sort their shit out prior to you know getting coaching and stuff like that so for you um yeah how long was your past roger journey you remember uh since i want to say I was 18, 18 started when I was 18, so, and I'm 34 now. Yeah, well, there you go. So for those of us who can't do maths, that's like, what, 10 years plus, hey, I think? Yeah. Hang on. Yeah, 10 years plus. I can't even think. My head's just a bit weird at the moment. I haven't had a coffee yet this morning, and it's lunchtime. Um, but yeah, so a while, hey? Yeah. And um, with, uh, with yourself, um, I know that, and this is me just thinking back, like, you... Even when we started out, like you weren't like super heavy. Like I think remember you were only like 66, mid 60s or so. Um, so for a lot of guys, like if they were to get to that weight, you know, that's their ideal weight, you know what I mean? But for you, that was your starting weight. And what we found was that, well, you, you know, didn't really have any muscle tone, there was fat everywhere. Um, and that, that obviously resulted in you not having a super positive body image, no confidence to take your shirt off or anything like that. Um, and then, well, yeah, like definitely not feeling like the alpha Roger that you are now. You know what I mean? Um, and then obviously where we are now, and for you know, recently you got to do a photo shoot which was sick, celebrating the end of like a you know, solid uh, amount of time deficiting and then fat loss properly, so that's been really fun. But let's look at now, cool. So Main Man Alpha, um, so Main Man Roger has joined the Alpha game, it's due to you know, embracing the flexible approach to fat loss. Think back to then with what it was like taking on these new beliefs around food that you saw me teaching you and me modeling and stuff like that. Because I even remember from when I first came across this, which was like probably like early 2013, um, and me coming from a hardcore rigid dieting background, it was very hard to take on board and it challenged my beliefs a lot. So for my initial weeks, I remember I, yeah, I found it really hard. Um, but for you, uh, let's sort of think about when you were you know, first starting with me, how was it? Like, think back to how Roger was feeling then, what he was going through, that sort of stuff. Fill me in. So, um, I'll have to touch on before I met you. Um, so, um, before uh, meeting you in I was um, going to gym um, and the people there, like the coaches or whatever would say, like meet someone and be like, oh, what do you do to get your muscle? What do you, you do to look like the way where you look? And then, be like, oh, yeah, because of, because of the way you build, you specifically you have to um, um take protein that's got more carbs and protein. I uh, actually like that to can bulk up and then train it off to become muscle, stuff like that. You know, like those stupid things they will say to you, 
stick it to a hook and you're like, yeah, no worries, I'll get a big tub of protein shake. It's like put 50 grams of carbs and 30 grams of whatever protein just so you can bulk up. Um, went through all of that crap, um, felt like shit. Um, oh, that's my language. <laughs> And I then, have um, yeah. And, and then meeting you. Um, starting out was oh, eye opening. The sense that you have to let go of all that past bag piece and what you think is correct. Like thinking, car, oh, poison, don't have car, chocolate, don't really look at that, big door, you can't have that. Um, soft drinks, nah, don't have that. So, um, even diet stuff. Don't go near that stuff because they would only even help. Um, so stick to protein, clean eating as they say. Stick to protein and just clean vegetables. Boil your chicken, all of that crap. Um, went down that path and then, yeah, going on board with you and being an alpha real quick for it and all. And all the awesome posts and, and knowledge bombs that you call them. It's super sick to learn from. And then also taking that on board and going with it instead of being uh, be the bro roger that used to just I'll, I'll i'll do this now and then i'll drop it off in the three months something like that i full on like as soon as i logged in i was like yeah stuck on it did my training did my eating like entered all in and i was never hungry never thirsty <laughs> taking four liters of water a day never thirsty always in the toilet <laughs> Oh, that's it, bro. Pee yeah. like, 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 like a horse. Yeah. yeah. Like, very, yeah. <laughs> but um, I could tell, like, being super healthy from um, not getting the flu as often as I used to get the flu. Um, with people around me are getting the flu, and I'm still super healthy. Not And to live with me, I'm normally touched by it. So, and eating what I wanted to eat, when I wanted to eat it, my time, on my way. You know what I mean? As long as I was in the cherry deficit and meeting my protein target, my fiber target, I was, I was um, on call. And then sticking to my to my um, training program, getting my steps in, all of those things. Like, it all falls into place as well, once your mindset gets switched off, oh, over to being an alpha. It's really good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, um, you know, like for those of you watching that are wondering, like, with, when I start with someone, one of my biggest goals is to get them as healthy as possible before we even really start focusing on manipulating their body composition <clears throat> because anyone can eat a calorie deficit but if you're not healthy your body's not going to give a fuck about the fact that you're eating below your maintenance intake uh, and evidence of that is heaps of guys that can't even budge any fat eating a thousand calories or so um, and you know I mean they're like they're grinding with training they're doing heaps of steps they're taking supplements and shit like if you're not healthy your body doesn't give a fuck so with Roger, our goal was, cool, bro, like, let's not stress too much about, you know, sugar, carbs, fat, or whatever. Like, I want you to aim for this amount of calories, and we're going to give a shit about protein, and we're going to give a shit about plants, and that's it. But then outside of that, we're going to get you drinking lots of water, we're going to get, we're going to get you, you know, focusing on your sleep, and, um, you are doing some stretching, and just, like, these sort of basics are what's enabled Roger to be able to get healthy from the start, so that, that way, with more, you know, specific targets as we went along, his body responded. And the bulk of the time, um, you're fairly linear in terms of his progress. And what I mean by that is like, you know, some people, for example, <clears throat> when they go through their solo journey, you know, one week they might weigh a certain amount and then, hey, the following week they've jumped up a kg and the following week up again and the following week super low and they've got kind of no idea what's going on with Roger with being fairly linear as we go along, which shows that his body responded well because he's healthy. But um, what I want to ask you, Roger, is like, so now that you are kind of where you are now and you know what it's like to feel healthy and you understand what health actually means, um, what did past Roger <laughs> used to think health was? Like, <laughs> um, like, think back to then in terms of what you thought health was and what it meant and what it felt like. Like, what's, what's the difference between now and then, do you think? So for me, I thought healthy was skinny, skinny and heavy. Um, and uh, but but means skinny, but means um, getting like really thin people are healthy. Mm-hmm. I don't I don't I don't think that even like with dieting as well. People always, healthy people always choose the celery and the carrot and, uh, and you know what I mean that type of thing. That's healthy. You don't see them eating a, a biscuit or freaking Nutella or ice cream for that matter. Just you don't see them eating that. So then your your focus is shifted 
and you're thinking, how oh, that fine. What I do, what better I start to supplement. And you're going to the whole new world of spending all your money on stuff and getting the best protein that you can. Uh, yeah, it's ridiculous. It's just a full one circle of continuous confusion over and over, just doing the same thing over and over. So yeah. Looking back, I was like, so mm -hmm. And now, now today's Roger is like, yeah, let's get it. Like, I would I buy some things, like maybe some high fiber, like all my protein like, so I can mix and match so on that one day that I don't feel like having too much protein, I'll have some high fiber just to boost them a little bit so I can have the protein and stuff like that. Just to like, you no, know, trying to balance out my day. But other than that, like, I'm super happy with where I am and what I'm doing. So good to see that when I take my shirt off, I'm super confident looking in the mirror. I'm like, yes, I can't, and I can't wait to walk around with my shirt. So good. Mm. So happy. For those I was going to say, because you're, you're, you're sitting here, why don't you give us a bit of a flex so we can see how your cannons look, bro? Hey, look at that. Lean machine. Fuck yeah. Cool. <laughs> That's it, bro. That's awesome, isn't it? So, like, another way we can look at it is like, you know, when someone is like, in the the world that is conventional dieting right we've got very warped views around food and you know we feel very restricted and we're often very confused which is why you know when it comes to food shopping it's something that we usually kind of dread and that we you know kind of just like oh fuck like you know i've got to put all this money into getting all my organic stuff and my superfood shit because of this diet that i'm on but i really want to go over here where there's all this chocolate and there's all this stuff that i really want to eat so like think about with how it used to be back then compared to how it is now, um, why don't you describe how you used to feel and associate towards food shopping versus now? What's the difference? What is it? Yeah, paint the difference. Back in the day, so my, my food list would consist of, let's go, chicken bread and definitely frozen broccoli and cauliflower, bag with bag with them, um, and just chicken bread. My food would be chicken bread, steak, um, some type of meat, so protein and, and that's it. I think I would be trying to go near the near the carb, near all that crap, and then um, that's all Roger. And and then come the weekend, I'm sipping on big bottles of wine and <laughs> getting all that in. So it doesn't even make sense compared to now when I open the shop. I'm like, okay, let's think. I want to have dessert tonight. What am I going to have for dessert? Okay, well, let's go with my protein and my my fiber. We'll add in maybe I'll get like a protein night drink. My hashtag pro pro. So good. Yeah, good yogurt, which has got like 12 grams of protein in it, which is super good and for 59 calories, which is a winner. So, and then also I get my 501 chocolate flavor, cold caramel flavor, so good. 89 calories, oh. little tiny bar like that. Super awesome, super tasty. Awesome. And then I have, like, tonight I'm having pasta for dinner, I'm having chicken pasta for dinner tonight, which is so good, I can't wait. <laughs> So it's like, what, what's happening now then is like, when you're going to the shops, you're in a frame of mind where it's like, what do I feel like eating based on what I know that I need? So you obviously now are more educated in the fact that, you know, protein is going to be like part of your life forever. So you're obviously thinking, cool, like, what do I want to eat that's going to get me protein in the day or planning for the week? Um, you know, same with, you know, what plants you're choosing to eat. But then outside of that, and what I picked up on there is it's like, you know, you're planning ahead if you, if you want to have dessert, you're planning ahead if you want to have some wine or whatever. Like, it's not something that you fear or that you associate guilt to, you know, eating or buying like you would in the past, you know what I mean? And that's critical because what that shows is that you don't see food as good or bad anymore, which is so standard for the average guy trying to lose body fat. You know, you've got your little list of the fucking shit that you classify as good, but then because you've got all this food that you still enjoy, but you classify as bad, like that then obviously is kind of worship slash demonize this sort of shit, mean that as soon as you go to eat some, obviously because it's perceived as off limits, that's what people would normally just go hard on it and not really have much self-control and you know, may as well YOLO because, well, hey, it's gonna go off limits again tomorrow, so you know, may as well go hard. Like, that's just a shit cycle, you know what I mean? But um, man, that's a huge change in terms of how you approach food now, wow. So, um, what else do you think, in, like, as obviously as you said, like, you used to be the sort of dude who would, you know, just wing it in the gym and, you know, ask other gym bros what they were doing and stuff like that. Fast forward to now, you're someone that is actually doing all your training at home. Um, and, uh, you know, you've got a cool little setup and stuff like that. And we've been focusing on some strength work. We've been doing conditioning work and stuff like that. Um, how have you found, um, you know, kind of like the relationship with exercise and training change compared to, old school Roger, what's been the difference there? 
Um, and I'm sure you'd agree that even going through the Alpha journey and having um, a coach and stuff like that, you know, at certain times it's been trying. There's still been curveballs. Um, you know, this happens with everyone that I've ever worked with. There's always going to be shit that will come your way. But what you've learned and what I've told you time and time again, it's just like, wow, bro. Okay, cool. So um, you're still in control of your choices and actions here. What's the solution that we can, you know, pinpoint or bring about in relation to this? And then when you start to think like that, you apply that to everything. That's what you've noticed, as you said there. Come out in your life. What have you got, bro? You know what I mean? Um, hence, like, as we were coming to the end of the shred, I was like, bro, I reckon we should uh, get you doing a photo shoot. Even though you've never done one before, how do you feel about that? And Roger was like, fuck it, yeah, that'd be cool. Um, which is, I was just like, shit. <laughs> because I didn't expect you to do it. I was just like, that would just be a cool challenge for you. Why don't you share the experience of what it was like doing a shoot, given that past Roger, <clears throat> probably would have never thought it was possible, right? Why don't you share the experience of what it was like doing the shoot and um, having yourself photographed and just being confident and stuff like that? Like, how did you feel? What was it like? It was, it was amazing. It was eye-opening. It was, it was awesome because you don't, I don't think you understand how much you change until you, you do that for yourself. Celebrate your win. So for me, it was kind of like a celebration for me to, um, to get that photo done for me. I, I thought, I think I, I deserve it, you know? Um, and then when I met the photographer from the get-go, chilled, relaxed, did a couple of photos, and then um, because I had a mind operation in my mouth a couple of months back, I'm very self-conscious on how I smile or what I do, but within <laughs> three photos, I <laughs> was smiling from year to year. And yeah, you were. Year. What a laugh. <laughs> Um, broke my broke my my self esteem to bring me up and like you know what? don't hide behind you. one thing that you shouldn't be doing mm-hmm. you know it's not like no one's watching dance like no one's, you know all that it's really good and uh, <laughs> the photos that I got back I will send you some too they are really good photos I'll send you some send me shirts as well obviously so <laughs> it looks really good he okay. was like he said to, he said to me um I thought you were only going to start getting ripped in about one so like, but you got to stay on top of it. Right? <laughs> I love the compliments and they, and, and they keep coming from everyone that I meet. So like, you're looking good, you're looking good, you know, you're doing your training. You're training, what are you doing? Different. I'm just doing my thing. Yeah. Exactly, right. that's it. And um, what you're probably finding as well is like when you start to get lean and like represent sort of like a lot of people's ideal, you know, body image or like, like you look how a lot of people want to look, you know what I mean? Um, what you're probably finding is a lot of people ask you, like, so what's your diet like, bro? Like, do you do keto? Um, how much protein do you want? Like, all this sort of shit, right? How do you find trying to tell them what you're doing, given that you're not actually really dieting? All we're doing is just, we fucking eat what we want, but we're just working the science. Like, how do you find that? <laughs> um, I just, I tell them, I eat what I want. Like, you know, Nutella, toast, I love toast. <laughs> and they're like, no, 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 I don't lie to me. What do you eat? Like, I can show you what I eat. Here you go, have a look at my myself. Show them like three I How does it even work? I'm like, yeah. Like, it's crazy, girl. hey. It's crazy because <laughs> we'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy because like even even I I found that like when I was fresh to it, um, when people were asking me initially, it's just like, what the fuck are you doing? Like, you know, what are you doing is a waste of time, rah rah. And like because you don't yet look how you want to, it can be easy to take on their opinion. And that's why a lot of people will bail on something like this quite early on, especially if you don't have coaching to keep you grounded. Um, but what's interesting, I usually find is that, you know, like anyone that had said that shit, sort of shit to me at the start, who are now seeing me as I am now, whatever, they've either unfriended me because they're just like, the fuck, like it actually worked, <laughs> or B, they, um, they become keyboard warriors and haters, um, you know what I mean? Or C, they're now asking me how I did it, um, and you know what I mean? Which is funny because it's just like, well, yeah, rather than, Align with kind of like what's trending and keto and fucking I put sugar, clean eating, all this sort of shit. All we've done for you is just adhere to how science works and what we know in terms of how science works at the moment, in terms of just well, what society knows, the best in the world know is that to be able to have any chance of losing body fat and maintaining muscle, there must be an emphasis upon protein, there must be an emphasis on health. And then once that's down packed and someone has decent biomarkers, just gauge how much to eat below your maintenance intake. And because Roger has taken it on so well, that's why we've been able to transform how you look, how you feel, how you function over this time frame, um, which has been sick. And because it's done, been done properly, 
this sets the stage now for reversing out of that and staying lean while adding muscle, which is awesome because this is kind of like, you know how everyone's like, yeah, the grass is green on the other side, yeah? Like, the fat, doing fat loss properly, properly is the hardest part. After that, it feels easy in comparison. And um, I'm sure you'd probably agree that lots of the time it doesn't even really feel hard. Like, <laughs> um, maybe towards the later end, end, end of your photo shoot where you're on a bit less calories and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Like, it's a bit of a grind. But the bulk of the time, I'm sure you'd agree that it's just like, well, yeah, it doesn't really feel like <laughs> you're uh, even trying. It's kind of just like, cool body, I'm working with you. You know what I mean? So how do you find, like, in terms of just, like, how Roger sees now, food now versus bro Roger, what would you say the biggest difference is in terms of your relationship with food now? I'm much better. I love food. I, I don't look at it as um, a chore anymore. Yeah. It's a big chore. I would have to do a healthy recipe what a waste of time um, and now yeah, I'm in love I'm in love with food she's my, my my baby love if I can say that way <laughs> so and um, I and people around me they always um, I'm not going to have coffee tonight just give me this like rather than instead of having coffee on the rather cut the carb half half the coffee doesn't really give you too much, like, and that's not the right way to do it. I think, but um, you know, each to their own, and all they find the way, you know. But for me, um, yeah, I'm happy, happy go lucky. I'm like, I thought it was, oh, I don't know what I was thinking before. <laughs> I can't even say, yeah. So what that shows there is some, uh, yeah, some serious change, bro. Um, not only just in how you associate to it but just your relationship with it as a whole, which is great because this shows that your results haven't been built on restriction. You know what I mean? They've been built on education and then just building good habits around it that serve you. So that's fucking awesome. So what I want you to do now is um, I want you to think about Bro Roger, right? Who, you know, was in a rut doing all this fucking shit and scared of food and all the stuff that he was doing, right? I want you to think of three things to tell bro Roger, based on what you know now, whether it's busting myths, whether it's advice or whatever, I want you to think of three things to tell bro Roger, because chances are that a lot of people who are watching this video are pretty similar to bro Roger in terms of stuck and not knowing what to do and kind of feeling lost. What's three things that you want to tell bro Roger that you wish that bro Roger had known compared to where you are now, bro? Have a think. Yeah. Mm. Let's see. Um. Firstly, um, everything will be fine. Like you can always, you always come up, you always come out on top. Like you learn how to use your mindset, you know. I think that just becomes a habit as well. Like the mindset thing. Um, secondly, um, you'll learn to love food. Um, it won't be a bad thing for you. Yeah, it's all food good. No, no, not not one food is bad for you. If I use it. Um, thirdly, you'll get your six pack back. <laughs> and, then from what, and then from what you know now, because obviously Bro Roger probably used to think a few certain things needed to be done to get a six pack, aka fucking drink some green juice every morning while doing a thousand sit ups, you probably thought dumb shit like that. With <laughs> where you're at now, like what advice would you give to? Uh, bro Roger trying to build a six pack <laughs> um, based on what you know now. I think um, seek help, you know, but somebody who knows what they're doing. Because if without that, like, if you don't have a lot of guidance or the proper way of doing things, then you're always going to be running around like a little chick anyway, kind of get your ass. It's just ridiculous. Yeah. You need help, you need guidance. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And speaking of which, like obviously working with me, um, you know, has been eye-opening and fully transformative for you and that sort of thing. Why don't you share what you feel the biggest things you've valued most from you know, having a coach as opposed to continuing to do all your fucking solo shit that you were doing for years in the past? What do you think are the biggest things you've gained from you know, having a coach so far, bro, in comparison? Um, support. Um I felt too bad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't have to start the journey like constant. If I needed something, it's text you and you're on the phone, back supporting 
sending me away um, on the alpha group as well. Like every post you do, it, it, it still eats, you know what I mean? Parts of stuff. So sometimes you, some you lose yourself on social media to see, like, I'll post this, I'll post that, something funny, something great. But like, every single post that I think is always being uplifting, helpful um, for the next week ahead. Like, you don't understand. Sometimes I'll be reading an email from you, and then that literally went through my head yesterday. Like, I don't say anything to me. I don't know. Just, I don't know what I'm thinking at this point. It is it's so crazy. <laughs> every single time. I open an email, I'm like, what the hell? I was I was just thinking this, this today. how is this possible? It's crazy, yeah. So there's always like that, that on key with where I was at, when I was doing certain things, you were there, coaching and guiding. It was really good. And even like with injuries and, and, and all of that, you just, yeah, well, just sit it out for a bit and then start off slowly, do this. And, and it worked. Everything I did worked. So it was pretty good, yeah. And how did you find... Um... Like I know, I know just respect to coaches that do this, but I know a lot of coaches will take the approach of, hey bro, do this, catch you next week. Hey bro, just eat this shit, I'll catch you next week. Um, how did you find, well obviously like you and I, we didn't have that approach, it was, hey bro, we're gonna do this, here's why, let me know how you go on with it, like, you know what I mean? And obviously yeah. then having you know some educational resources to work through every week, like content videos and stuff like that. Like how did you find, having to do that as opposed to me just telling you what to do and that just being it like how did you find that benefit for you it benefited me so much um like just like the support wise you know like you, you give me something to do but you always hit me or you check in with me all the week like even like photo shoot like going with the the character deficit and training throughout that last week before the photo shoot it's like every day check in check in check in, check in. we checked in up until Wednesday and then photo shoot is on Friday and I was confident enough not to check in with you after Wednesday because I knew I've done my thing, I had do what I had to do for the first few days. I'm doing what I'm happy to do. So when our product came, I was like, yep, I'm having some lollies. I had some sour patches before my photo shoot, a couple of tips of water, and I was good to go. Amazing. That's sick. That's really cool. And um, touching just quickly on what you shared there, like, you know, with seeing my posts and my emails, and you're like, man, this guy just gets me. Fuck, like, how's that even happening? And why that is, it's just because, like, I've walked those shoes before, like, you know, I've been binge eating for like a decent hunk of my life in the past, you know, like I've been dieted for a decent length of time, similar to you, so it's like everything I post is just an experience, it's never opinion or anything like that, um, yeah. you know what I mean, so it's like, that's why it's so easy to relate to everyone that I work with, and chances are that probably watched this video, you know, you've probably seen some of my content and relate, and um, you're picking up what, you know, I'm putting down, which is cool. Why don't you share, Roger, like if someone's kind of on the fence and just like, oh, you know, like, you know, like coaching, I've got to put some money in, like it's going to like, you know, oh, I'll have to keep accountable, oh shit, like I've actually got to commit, like I could probably just keep going solo, like, oh, I don't know. From your experience with what you're taking from coaching so far, why do you think that getting coaching would be a good move as opposed to whoever's watching this just going, yep, it's been sick, like if I'll just keep going solo, like why do you think getting coaching is a smarter move? Oh, again, it comes back to support and guidance. If you don't have that guidance and support, you can't do it on your own. You can never, like, you can get that advice from other people, but what do you take? What advice do you take from who? Who do you believe? Like, you have a coach and someone that knows what they're doing and can guide you and be there for your support and got your back. Like, there's nothing more to ask for. And then know that you are all responsible for your actions. And so we see Oshki, for that matter, coaching you. You know what I mean? So you can always go back and be like, yeah, but you said I should do this, why it's not working? And so forth. But if you're on your own, you're never going to know. Because I was one of those guys, like, nah, coaching's not for me. Oh, I want to try it. Nah, maybe. Nah, I want to do it. Nah, mm -mm, not for me. And I just said, nah, let me give it a go. See how we go. And making and, that change. And then what's interesting from memory is that I think um, one of the things of mine that you saw was me, I can't remember if I did an ad or it might have been a post at the time, but it was like me touching on how someone could get lean eating burgers. <laughs> um, yeah. you know what I mean? So pretty fucking controversial, right? And then next minute that's how you cross past it. So um, it's really cool because what we've done with you is just we've left the dieting restrictive world behind and we've embraced freedom around food, letting go of external pressures. You only giving a fuck about what serves you and your goals so that you can operate as the best version of you 
instances where you know we've got fucking Super Saiyan God Roger over here who's done a photo shoot and he's kicking ass. Um, you know what I mean? And now old bro Roger has got a fond memory in terms of where he once was. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, your story is awesome, brother. Kudos to you. Um, you know, you're a role model for many people. You've gone through a lot. You've been social focused. So you know, um, obviously, they, yeah, it's been an absolute pleasure working with you so far. So bring on what awaits. It's more reverse dieting and getting stronger and um, yeah, improving on the physique you've already built. So you're a champion, mate. Thanks for jumping on the call. And um, yeah, catch you later. And there we go, fam. Really hope you enjoyed seeing my success story interview chat with the main man, Roger. And um, as you can see, guys, like, yes, it's cool to be able to lose weight. Like, I get that. Like, everyone seems to love that. But as you can see, when you approach it in a specific way, it increases your likelihood tenfold of having any chance of being able to maintain what it is that you achieve. Meaning that, um, yeah, like <laughs> for the for the uh, for the average person who's going about trying to get lean and to be able to hit their goal weight, they're eight or nine times out of ten likely to be able to to basically like have the unfortunate scenario that is regaining all their weight back. And um, yeah, I pride myself in basically having that not happen with the with the men and women that I work with. Um, it's all about my fuck dieting process, which is where us getting them to where the person wants to get to, we do so without restriction, we do so with science, and we do so with trying to eat as much as possible to be able to look after the person's hormones and after the metabolic properties and all that sort of stuff in a multifaceted strategic timeline to be able to get them to where they want to be in terms of you know looking and feeling amazing, and then incorporating strategies in place as well to be able to bulletproof them to staying there. And um, in more cases often than not, Proving, which is what's happening with Roger as well. So tell me, uh, not tell me, um, do me a favor if you found this valuable, give the video some love, drop it a like. I'd love to um, yeah, hear what you found uh, from it in terms of any value and insights. And um, if this has kind of struck a chord with you in terms of Roger's story and you'd love to learn if and how online coaching can be um, yeah, of benefit to you, um, scroll down into the description of this video. You're gonna see a few links. One of them is to basically be able to check out what I do and um, you know, check out my store, get among some free stuff, and be able to check out what coaching is all about. So check out all of that. And um, I'd love to have a free chat with you, just like I connected with Roger initially about a year ago when he was just like, oh yeah, this Angus lad looks pretty sick. Like I'm gonna go and have a chat with him. And the rest has been history. So you're one decision away from what could change your life altogether. And um, if you're keen to follow me on social media, so you can follow on some of my own journey and see all the cool shit that I post, um, my social media handles are just here. You and I can connect. And um, yeah, we'd love to have you check out some of my shit. But um, yeah, give the video some love, subscribe if you haven't yet subscribed because, well, what do you mean are you doing if you're not subscribed to my channel? <laughs> and um, I'll see you in next week's video, fam. Big love, stay safe, stay healthy. Peace. Well, there's pretty much yeah, three big burgers, um, all these chips. So it's way bigger than the photo. Like, I sh like if I knew it was going to be this big, I would have prepped better for it.